Okay, guys, I just fought it. All right, no, we're going to. Whew, the paint's peeling. <laughs> Hey guys, Joe Tech here from Joe Tech Tips. We're on Facebook and Twitter, and today we're going to be using this cool benchmark called Corona version 1.3. This thing runs, as soon as you click on it, it runs in its entirety. So, so here we go. We'll give it a go. Like I said, it starts immediately. As soon as you run it, it's, there's nothing, there's no settings to do. Just You just click on it, and it runs. Uh, here it tells you how many rays per second I am currently doing. Um, this is the total elapsed time. This is the rendering time. And then here's the estimated remaining time. We're doing about 6.6, 6 6.7, 6 6.8 rays per second, which is pretty, we're talking about 6.8 million, that is raised per second, how many passes we've done, total time. So this is total community time, right, starting the program before it actually starts to ray, the ray tracing, the rendering portion of it. The actual rendering is here, so 48, 49, 50, plus 22 seconds, so you can kind of figure out how quick this will actually go and finish. This is a, a cool benchmark. I ran on the 3770K as well. Look at that, one minute and 12 seconds. We'll submit this again. I've done it already once before. We'll do it again, just in case. And then what we'll do, it'll automatically open up a browser window. We'll close this, we'll minimize this, and you will see, probably two, two of mine, I'll do, uh, We'll search for a 1950X only. It's only a handful of us here. So here we go. Two, two one minute 13s, minute 12. So that was the one I just did now. Uh, and I also disabled SMT just for shits and giggles. And we got almost two minutes time. So leaving SMT turned on, which is obviously the way to go. There's no reason to shut it off ever. Um, it cre in increases the capability dramatically, which is extremely shocking. Um, I never thought that, uh, you know, SMT would actually enhance the performance that much. I mean, there's not in hyper-threading, there's not much the difference between a 4-core and an 8-core in hyper-threading. But an AMD version of this is a substantial, substantial difference. And I'm, I'm very impressed. Maybe if I had more cores on the Intel side, I would see more of a difference, but I don't see it here. So if you scroll all the way down, you can clearly see like 4 million, 4.1 million rays a second for with SMT turned on only using 16 cores and 16 threads. And then we go all the way up to here, and we're doing a minute 12 and 6.7 million rays a second with 16 cores, 32 threads. So it's impressive. I also did my 3770K just just to do it, and I am here. I did it in 505. So here we are right here. And you can clearly see there's a huge difference in rendering capability. Um, obviously no contest, <laughs> but... I wanted to show you that I did do it, and I, I am on the list, <coughs> and it is a cool thing. So anyway, guys, if you like this video, slap that thumbs up button, and if you're not a subscriber, please subscribe. Well, take care, and we will see you next time. Guys, don't forget about the giveaway that I'm doing, giving away the H7 Totem Edition Sound Blaster X headphones. Go to the forum, sign up, and get involved. I'm giving this away October 8th. Creative Labs iRoar. Plug it in like, like this. The inside of this is really impressive. 100A in the Prius. The AC adapter, one amp charger, and it's big. 
and it's made out of aluminum. Okay, as you can see, the backup is complete. Like so. And now you can create the rate array. I mean, for the, for the price difference between the two,